Good morning, Winfrey family. Happy Wednesday. Um, so listen, last week I did day three, and I'm not sure how much y'all have been following along, but there might be some confusion on what day we are actually on. Um, part of that being we as um, staff weren't sure if people were going to um, do every day or if they were going to skip a couple of days over the weekend or they were going to skip Saturdays or what the case may be. So we're going to go under the assumption that you didn't skip any days and so today would be day 10, okay? So we're going to go with that assumption. Um, and then hopefully if you are behind, you can just catch up and do a couple of days and then you'll be all caught up and then every day moving forward. I believe is how it's going to go. If not, someone will correct that in another video. Anywho, here we go. Day 10. So we're talking this whole week about being and how we can be present with God. How can we be closer with God and Jesus's words and what Jesus says about that. And so today's topic is fasting. Um, not something that a lot of us think about, maybe a little bit at Lent and that kind of thing, which just happened the 40 days leading up to Easter, where we're like, okay, cool, I'll give something up for 40 days, I can do that. Um, but the way that the author describes fasting is this, it's abstaining from something important in your life, like something you can't go without. It's in these moments of cravings or missing something that you can go to God, that you can talk to God about what's going on in your life, but that also you can give God thanks for everything that you have, even though you're missing out on something. And it just helps us be that much more mindful, that much more appreciative. And so I want to share with you just a couple of stories from my own life of different times that I have fasted from different things. Um, so the first one is food. And I actually did this back in my mid twenties. I was at another church and a group of us youth pastors were like, Hey, let's do a 40 day Lent fast of food. Um, so we allowed ourselves one meal a day and the rest was just liquids. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm in my mid twenties. I can do this. Uh, never really fasted for that long before. Um, but, you know, it was a challenge at first, right? I'm like eating dinner and then I'm like, okay, when can I have the next snack? And I'm like, oh wait, I can't have a midnight snack. Like, oh man, get up the next morning. All right, time for breakfast. Nope, can't do that either. Like, you know, it was, it was interesting. It really was. Um, and, and so through that came hunger pains, right? These, these constant pains in my stomach and at first I'm like, man, like what is going on? Like my body's got to adjust and all this stuff. But it was through those pains that led me to just this constant prayer with God. Like anytime a pain would come out of my stomach and you'd hear grr, 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 like, oh, I'm hungry. It would, it would lead me to talk to God about something. And it was just so cool to have that, that presence in my life. But it also reminded me how fortunate I was to have a full fridge and that at any moment, if I got sick or whatever the case may be, and I needed to eat something that I could, and also a stock pantry as well. And there's a lot of people that don't have that luxury, even in the Midlothian area. And you see the food shelters and things like that right now that are just full of people needing things during these times. Um, so that was one experience with me with food. Uh, the next was, um, this wasn't during Lent or anything like that. This was a time where I just felt like, man, I'm just spending too much time in front of the television. And so like when I got home, I would sit down and before I knew it, a couple hours passed and I, I really didn't accomplish anything. So I was watching a lot of ESPN at that moment, like, you know, just an hour of sports center. And then all of a sudden another hour would come on, but yet it'd still be on or whatever. So so I decided to take uh, an hour away from ESPN. And um, I used that time to read books uh, about Christian discipleship and different things like that. I used that time to read my Bible, um, to pray, 
and to, <clears throat> excuse me, to reflect on my life and how God was working in it through me, through my family, through the church, through different things. And so it was just a, a really cool time to kind of hit the pause button and just say, okay, no more TV, no more ESPN. God, what do you, what do you want to talk to me about? What do you want me to talk with you about for this next hour? Like I am yours. And that was, that was really cool. And that led to a lot of different um, reflections and things in my life at that time. So the third one is a uh, digital Sabbath. And that happened at Passport, which is a week long summer camp that we take with the students. And so um, they asked every year for us to take away our phones. And I'll be honest, for the first couple of years, nah, I didn't do it. I didn't want to have that fight with parents. I didn't want to have that fight with students. And I told them it stays in their room and no one knows about it and all this other stuff. And uh, finally this last year, I was like, all right, cool. We're, we're taking them away. We took 30 some of us there and we all took their phones away. Uh, Lynn and Abby were troopers because they had 20 girls or something like that, something close to that. And so they had to take all their phones and keep them in a pile. There's a picture of them, it's massive. Uh, but what that, that allowed us to have a lot more conversations together. Instead of students being like this in their rooms, it was this, it was talking in community. And some were really deep conversations and some were not so deep, you know, we, we came up with some goofy things to do uh, during those and talking and sharing and stuff. But all of those conversations brought us closer together than it would have if we had just been in our phones, uh, leaders included. And the students really reflected on that afterwards saying, man, we, we talked a lot more this year than we did in the past. So I'm gonna continue to do the um, take away the phones in the future, so. Um, the last part I want to share with y'all is back to the book and um, the author basically says like fasting is between you and God only. And then he talks about a scripture and he says, don't be like the Pharisees who wanted all the attention for what they were doing. They would disform their faces and be, and have people be like, what's going on with you? Oh, I'm fasting. I'm trying to grow closer to God. Like, no, that's, that's between you and God. And so whether it's food, whether it's TV, whether it's your cell phone, whether it's video games, uh, whatever is too much of a priority in your life that is taking away from your time with God, that's what I would say, start with that as something to take, um, take, a, take a fast from. It, it could be a couple of days, it could be whatever time frame you think you need but start doing that and, and reflecting on that time when you're craving whatever it is that you're missing. Spend that time thanking God for what you have, but also talking to God about everything. And so um, I just want to leave that there with y'all. Let me close in prayer real quick and allow you some time to think about what God might be putting on your heart to fast from. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everything that you have done for us and given us. I thank you for the scripture that we looked at today. This whole idea of fasting, help us um, to fill in the blank of what you would want us to fast from, to, so that way we can grow closer to you. Thank you for allowing us this opportunity to do this devotional together. And we just ask that you would bless the time that we spend with you today. We pray all these things in your precious name. Amen. All right, y'all take care. Have a great rest of the week and ask God what you need to fast from.